Hi and welcome to the Through Night channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about some EDC backup flashlight options. So these are all smaller flashlights with the exception of the wedge on the end here. I'm just using this for comparison. These are very popular small EDC style flashlights. A lot of people like to carry full size flashlights, something that would run on say at 18650 or perhaps a 21700. But in a lot of cases people like putting these smaller lights in little pocket organizers or just directly into your pocket. So on the left here, we have the brand new Thrunite Sabre. Next to that, we have the Thrunite Archer Pro V2. In the middle, we have the Olight i3T EOS. Then here we have the Olight i5R EOS. Next to that, we have the Streamlight MicroStream. And on the end here, we have the Streamlight Wedge. And usually when we talk about flashlights, people wanna know, of course, how much they cost and their capability. What's their highest output? So with the Sabre here, these are currently selling for $19.99. They have high output of 659 lumens. Next to that, the Archer Pro V2, currently selling for $24.99. That has a high output of 1,022 lumens. Next to that, with the Olight, the i3T EOS. Those are currently selling for $19.95, and they have a high output of 180 lumens. The bigger brother here, the Olight i5R EOS, those are currently selling for $35.95, and they have a high output of 350 lumens. The Streamlight MicroStream here, currently selling for $31.99, they have a high output of 250 lumens. And on the end here, the Streamlight Wedge, currently selling for $86, and has a capability of 1,000 lumens on high. So I'm gonna go over each individual light, talk about how they function, then we're gonna head outside and see how they compare to each other with some beam shots at night. All right, so first up here, the Through Night Sabre. All right, so this has a removable bi-directional puck clip on here. All right, this has a tail clicky switch. All you do is push in halfway for momentary on, and you can cycle between low and high, so low and high. All right, you can push in on either mode for constant on. Very simple to use. Now, if we unscrew the cap here, you can see the battery source is a rechargeable AA, all right, 920 milliamp hour 14500. What's really cool about the Sabre is that not only do we have the high output from the rechargeable, but at any point in time, you can also use alkaline AA's. This is a really big deal for me and for a lot of preppers out there. So if there's some kind of emergency or something and you don't have the capability of charging this, let's say you have, you know, power goes out, very common scenario. You don't have your battery packs all charged up. You can't just plug anything into any USB or wall outlet or anything like that. You should have a good storage of alkaline batteries for backup. All right, so speaking of backup flashlights, this is a fantastic option for that very reason. I always have a couple dozen, uh, both AA and AAA, as well as some other various size batteries. So this flashlight will always have power in any situation. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is the Thrunite Sabre. All right, so next up here is the Thrunite Archer Pro V2. This light comes in a couple different color options, which is pretty cool. All right, same deal, removable bi-directional pocket clip on here. We have a smaller low profile button on the back. Okay, that's how we're gonna run through our modes. Push it once, turn it on. If you push and hold, this will ramp. It blinked because that's its highest. Push and hold again, it's gonna ramp down. So you have basically the infinite modes because you could stop at any point, any half second, all the way from low to high. So you can get the exact output that you want. It's blinking again because it's at its super lowest. I'm gonna bring this all the way back up to its highest mode. All right. Now it's cool, this also has a moonlight mode. So from off, we do a long press there. All right, so this has the longest uh, runtime with the lowest output. Strictly for emergency use. Now, as far as the power source, there is a rechargeable battery internally. You unscrew the head, it exposes that charging port, which is a USB type C. All right, very cool light. All right, so next up here is the Olight i3T EOS. This guy also has a removable bi directional clip, also has a tail clicky switch. Very simple, low and high. All right, that is all. This does have a removable battery which is just a AAA, just an alkaline AAA, okay? This does not do any kind of recharging. And that is pretty much it. it. It couldn't get easier than that, right? So low and high and runs on alkaline AAAs. 
Next up is its bigger brother, the newer version, I should say. This is the Olight i5R EOS, so this is a rechargeable version. Not to be confused with the original i5T. The i5Rs have kind of a wavy pattern on the back here. It gives you a quick visual on which one it is. But anyway, same deal, um, bi-directional clip, which is removable if you don't want. Um, tail switch on this guy, also the same UI, low and high. All right, the only difference here is that this is running on a AA, all right, and the one that comes with it is rechargeable. The port is on the battery itself, okay? But you can use regular alkaline batteries in here as well. So, very, very cool light. That is the Olight i5R EOS. All right, next up here is the Streamlight MicroStream. So again, small little EDC flashlight, right? Good little backup light, bi-directional clip. Um, this one does have the tail switch just like everything else you've seen and we have low and high you can just cycle between those All right, this one does have a rechargeable battery However, it is removable Okay, but the charging is not on the battery itself like previous models. I just showed you you do pull the head forward Okay to expose the the charging port right which is on the side there so very simple light the MicroStream. And last up here, just for comparison's sake, we have the Streamlight Wedge. All right, this one has a charging port on the bottom, but it is an internal battery, no way to replace that. All right, to use this, you're just going to rotate this switch forward. Okay, you'll see the green light. If it's red, obviously we need to charge it up. This is that low 300 uh, lumen mode, and this also has a turbo mode, which is 1,000 lumens, so if you push forward, you can see that get brighter, so it goes from 300 to 1,000. The only problem that I see really with this particular design is that that's only temporary. Once you let go, it goes back to the constant on, which is only that lower 300 uh, lumen mode. All right, and that is pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna head outside, get some beam shots on these lights. When we come back in, we'll discuss how they compare to each other. All right, so we're outside here. We just had a big thunderstorm, so everything's wet and dripping still. But uh, I'm in front of a cluster of trees here, and it is about 25 feet away from the camera. So first up is the Through Night Saber. All right, low and high. All right, so let's go up and down, left and right. All right, next up is the Through Night Archer Pro V2. Okay, let's go up and down, left and right. Okay. Okay, next up is the Olight i3T. There's high. Okay, up and down. Left and right. Okay, next up the Olight i5R. We go up and down. Left and right. And that is it. Now, a quick little note here. Um, this one has a little bit more spill as you can see that flag on the left side even when I'm pointing straight at those trees So, you know when checking out these lights and comparing to each other It's not just about the output. It's about how that light is being distributed whether it's all throw all spill or a combination of both All right, so next up is the Streamlight MicroStream There's high so up Down left and right all right so last up here is the streamlight wedge there's low there's that turbo mode so we'll go up and down left and right and that is all all right, so now that we are inside, we're just gonna talk about how these compare a little bit with each other. Of course, I like all these lights. They're all fantastic options, especially for a backup light. But I tend to focus on being prepared a little bit. And the two that really stand out the most to me are these two, okay? The Through Night Saber, as well as the Olight i5R EOS. 
And the reason is because both of these take rechargeable AA size batteries. They have great outputs, they're fantastic lights, but they both have the capability of running on alkalines. So an emergency, again, as I mentioned previously in the video, if you have a power outage, um, any scenario where you don't have the capability of recharging them, that's where they shine because you could take out those rechargeable batteries, insert alkaline double A's, and you're good to go. And you can have an infinite amount that you store up. That is a huge advantage in my uh, opinion for any kind of prepping or emergency type survival stuff. So your main light, let's say you have a large 18650 flashlight, it's gonna be rechargeable obviously, but hey, now you're in a situation where you can't charge that battery, you have to go to your backup light, it'd be nice to have a light that you don't have to recharge as well. Now obviously the uh, Olight i3T does not need to be recharged, that only takes the alkaline AAA batteries, but you know, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit less output. Just comes down to preference, but still makes a fantastic backup flashlight. Now as far as the, um, the Thrunite Archer Pro V2, fantastic specs, a ton of light. I mean, this thing is, it's a very small light in hand. I really like the ramping function on this, that capability. And this is putting out over a thousand lumens. All right, this is the brightest light that's on the table compared to the wedge, but I mean, look at the size difference. I just like the capability of this light. Uh, but when you're talking about, you know, preparedness and things like that, this does not take a, uh, an alkaline battery. So that's why I'm, I'm preferring these two more. The MicroStream is fantastic too, just in its own thing. Again, being a little bit smaller, uh, having a little bit less output. That's the reason why it's lower on the list, but they're all still fantastic flashlights. So at the end of the day, these are directly competing with each other. However, as much as I love the Olight, the i5R, again, this is currently selling for $36 and putting out 350 lumens, whereas the Sabre is selling for $20 and putting out over 659 lumens. All right, so as you saw in the comparison there, it does have a different beam shot, so that might be preference. Uh, this has definitely a little bit more throw. This is a little bit more of an area light, but you know, that's just where I fall as far as you know, which one I'd pick. I like the Saber the most. I like the i5R for number two. I like the um, Archer Pro V2 for number three, number four, number five, number six. That's just, again, personal preference, but I think they all would fulfill an awesome role as a backup EDC light. So that's it for this one. If you guys are new to the Thrunite channel, they do product giveaways all the time. It's completely free to you. If you'd like to enter, all you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.